Well, we've been interested in trying to identify the chemical messengers in the, the, a part of the brain called the hypothalamus that's responsible for regulation of body weight. Um, so there's two kinds of regulation of body weight. One is sort of maintenance, and that's like the thermostat, keeping the temperature at a constant, or the body weight at a constant position. And the other is more uh, a reward area, uh, which is, well, this stuff is so good, we want to eat as much of it as we can because you don't know when you'll ever find it. Unfortunately, in our modern world, we don't have many instances where we're not going to be able to find that ice cream or that, uh, or that uh, cheeseburger, that highly caloric, very tasty food that packs on the pounds and turns out changes our brain somehow. So we're interested in understanding what the interaction is between your diet, getting fatter, and not being able to stop eating and making it really, really hard to lose weight once you've gained it. The reason we're studying this is because uh, most forms of weight loss programs are unsuccessful. That is, somebody's overweight, no matter how overweight. But let's take the average, average person who's overweight. The BMI is between 30 and, uh, 30 and 40. So they're 30, 30 and 35. They're not morbidly obese. They're just stage one obese. Uh, they want to lose weight. They want to be fit. Most people who diet and exercise lose, a, on average, a couple of kilograms at most. And the, and, or if they lose more weight, they gain it back as soon as they go off the diet. So the, 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 the weight loss uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't stay, the body weight doesn't stay off when you're, uh, when you're losing weight. It, you tend to regain it in this yo-yo dieting sort of thing. You lose weight again on a diet, you go back, weight comes back. What it's telling us is that the body is trying to compensate for what it appears to be when it appears to be hungry. So even though you've got more than enough fuel, more than enough fat in your body, your body thinks it's starving and institutes programs in the brain to make you feel hungry and go eat and, and, and regain that weight because it feels that that higher body weight uh, is, not, um, is, is, uh, is the healthy one when it really isn't. So we're interested in what changes in the brain for that thermostat setting, that body weight setting, to go up and stay up. It won't go back down again. We're very interested in understanding which kinds of chemical messengers are involved. We've identified several that, that are, are important in, again, this homeostatic or, or thermostat-like regulation of body weight. But what we're trying to understand now is the interactions between the pleasure centers the ones that tell us that this is a really rewarding thing, and those homeostatic centers, and understand what components of the pleasure center response change the homeostatic responses. So once we understand that, we think we might have the right sets of tools to begin combating that, that, uh, that rise in, in body weight that the body thinks is, is normal, which isn't healthy.